morning to you, Hannah. Good morning. Thank you so much for coming today and sharing your writing with us. It's a real privilege to have you. What I'm going to do is ask you some questions and then Mrs. King will read your work, okay? Okay. So tell us, Shuhan, what can you tell us all about your writing? So this, uh, this piece of writing is about a balanced argument about deforestation. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, we have learned how humans impact the environment in topic lessons. In topic lessons, the first thing we learned was deforestation. This fantastic word deforestation means the process of cutting down many trees in a rainforest. This was my first time writing this balanced argument, yes indeed. Mm, thank you so much. That must have been really interesting learning all about that. What was the writing process like? Writing this essay could be compared as a complex experience mm. or journey for me. However, I didn't give up, but Mr. Bourne encouraged me to keep going, never stop. I learned that if you don't do anything, there will be no possibilities that you will succeed unless you try. Firstly, we planned the introduction and looked, like, looked at how to build cohesion within and across paragraphs by using conjunctions. I learned that there are two different types of conjunctions and when to use them. Mm -hmm. I looked through better words instead of a simple word and used them in my writing. A good word that Mr. Bourne taught me was anomaly which means a bit like peculiar or abnormal, for instance, the number of white tigers. I also learned that a four and an against will make the reader be really interested, not just all fours and all against. Moreover, I got those fabulous ideas by research on the iPad and topic lessons. Goodness me, it sounds like you've done an incredible amount of work to get there. Thank you. So you talked a little bit about how you got some of these ideas from the research. What other things did you do? Um, like just as I said, like um, in topic lessons we learned how humans impact our environment, and we looked at some pictures that Mr. Bourne showed me, and I just get a like idea in my brain instantly. Mm. How did you feel when you saw those photos? Like when we saw the photo where there's only one tree and a cute chimpanzee was on there, mm -hmm. I felt really depressed for the chimpanzee because it has no food and it would die soon. Yeah, I can imagine. But it's also made you come up with some incredible writing. So out of all of this, what are you most proud of? As my first piece of balance argument, I am incredibly incredibly proud that I have succeeded. With so much help and with so much effort, I should be really proud that I didn't stop. But thanks to my teacher, Mr. Bourne, who helped me so much and how confident he was to me. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing all those lovely ideas, Shuhan. We will now listen to Mrs. King, who will read your wonderful piece of writing. Thank you. Thank you. Should deforestation be made illegal? Within the last 50 years, there has been a contentious debate regarding the topic of deforestation and its impact on the environment. In these recent years, the demand of meat and resources have increased. However, some people have a strong focus on this whether deforestation should be continued or whether it should be made illegal because it is harmful for the planet. The most compelling argument for deforestation is that it creates a huge amount of money. Many countries rely on the money made by the logging industry. In Brazil, the government is planning on whether or not they should cut down the Amazon rainforest for farms, for money and for cattle ranching. That way, Brazil can be richer and have a better economy. In contrast, deforestation could be bad too. Trees are important. With no trees to anchor the soil down, loose soil travels into rivers and is polluted with silt. Moreover, when a tree is being chopped down, trees can be replanted, but they take years to grow again. The process of planting more trees is called reforestation, so plant more trees. 
A significant majority agree that deforestation is okay because it provides us with essential products such as some of our paper and even our toilet paper. Furthermore, chopping down trees provides us with fuel. Deforestation makes space for more crops to be grown, which subsequently can be used to feed more people. Scientists have estimated that in 2050 there will be 10 billion people on Earth. So people need more space to live, as well as needing more food to eat. On the other hand, a vast majority think that deforestation is not okay because it destroys habitats. A lot of indigenous people who make a living in the rainforests and jungles will lose their livelihoods. Moreover, deforestation threatens the lives of thousands of species of animals and plants. Animals like wild white tigers are endangered, which means that there are almost none of them remaining. And sadly, the white tiger is not an anomaly, and there are lots of animals on the verge of extinction due to deforestation. Having considered all the arguments, in my opinion, there may be no straightforward answer as to whether deforestation is good or bad. The main argument for introduces that we get lots of resources, subsequently people can get money. In the main argument against, it talks about that deforestation destroys animals' habitats, which leads to extinction. Well, if humans have not existed, the issue of deforestation may not even have been here today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sheehan. Thank you.